Okay, it's a smasher test. That is absolutely crazy. So it's been a long time, but we've finally got a brand new both weapon set and hero set. And this is the air splitter. This is what we're doing today. Now, it looks pretty much like a guitar or something on a stick. I'm not too sure. I'm not very good with instruments, but at least we've got a brand new set and load new heroes. Now, what are the perks on this weapon? We have crit damage, crit rating, fire, attack speed, crit damage, and a unique sixth perk where stunning or knocking back an enemy with this weapon causes it and nearby enemies to dance for a short duration. Probably something like the boogie bomb from Battle Royale. It does not affect enemies that have recently been dancing. Dance does not affect missed monsters or bosses, so we won't be able to get those smashes dancing. Now, what exactly is the weapon? It is part of the boombox weapon set. It is a spear that deals heavy damage with long range thrusting attacks. Maybe something like the Salancelot or Steam Skewer, that's what I'm just guessing. It's got its heavy attack is called Sonic Pulse. Slam the spear into the ground, channeling damage and knocking back nearby enemies while also providing a temporary damage buff to you and your allies, which will be very cool. And that stacks four times. We have a 48% crit chance. 320% crit damage, a fa uh, 0.57 attack speed, so that's going to be okay, nothing too slow, but nothing amazingly fast like I have my um, Spectral Blade. Now, before I show you my hero build, I already know it's a very, very weird one. I kind of wanted to include one of the new heroes as well, so I am not actually using Paleo Luna for one, so let's just have a look at that hero build. Well, would you look at that? I'm not actually using Paleo Luna for once. Well, she's in my support team, but my commander, I have Breakbeat Wildcat, if I've said that correctly. She has a Battle Beat Plus. Now, Battle Beat Plus um, works eliminating four enemies in nine seconds, grants Rocking Rift. Now, what Rocking Rift is, is increases damage by 50% and melee attacks me by 32%. Now, I looked at all the heroes that I had in this event. I think I've only got four of them. I can't get the Mythic yet. This seemed the easiest one to get the rocking riff out of that's why i'm using it i didn't want to use paleo luna in the main because i could just build the weapon for attack speed and it would just be super overpowered anyway so that's why she's not in my main and we've just gone for a, a soldier as a main rather than someone who actually properly specializes in melee now our team perk we've gone preemptive strike just increase those increase the damage against those full health enemies we have paleo luna in our support team because it might as well have a tiny bit of extra damage it won't do too much corrosive strike so every time we crit it applies a 30 percent snare and affliction which deals 37 percent of damage dealt each seconds for three seconds which is very very nice assassination dealing melee weapon damage grants one of a stack of assassination basically giving us extra damage as long as we're constantly in a fight we're getting more damage Rapid charge. Now I want to be able to use that heavy attack quite a lot because it sounds pretty decent. So that's why I've got melee um, weapon eliminations grant that extra 7.5 energy. So I'm getting that energy back pretty quickly. And then as always, I'm just going to have survivalist on there because it's a melee weapon. You probably want something to keep your health up when you're using a melee weapon. That's why I've gone for survivalist in here. Now we're going to get into a mission and I actually have very, very high hopes for this weapon. All right. So we're in our Twine Peaks mission. Now, yeah. As I said, it's like the Salancelot and Steam Skewer. Let's see if I've got any crafty with me. I don't have any crafty, but yeah, it's exactly the same as that. So I do like spears have their own kind of swing. Now, we need some nature and physical enemies. They're the best. Oh, so we're getting some water ones. We need nature or physical first. And I really want to test that heavy attack as well. And hopefully we can get that rocking riff. I hope. I wonder if it tells you if we get that rocking riff. What is it? Every four eliminations in nine seconds that's going to be really cool so let's get four eliminations in nine seconds this weapon's massive one two three that's four ah yeah we get a little buff whoa this is this weapon okay with rocking riff I, I think rocking riff is like the new go-to ability with melees i really think it is maybe i'll have it as a support i don't think i've run it as a main i hear a smasher Either please be nature or physical. It'll be perfect. Oh, here we go. Right, here we go then. Smash your test time. Let me just get this guy out of the way first. Oh, we even get the impact and not back. That is actually fantastic. That really is. We need a, a horde as well. Just to kind of try that heavy attack. Maybe these will do it. I feel like it's not going to work. Let's just try the heavy attack. Make them dance. I didn't see any dance in there. There we go. Yeah, he's he's not dancing. He wasn't dancing. Is that bugged? 
I think that might be a little bit bugged because that husk wasn't dancing. Maybe that's a one-time bug. Hopefully it's just a one-time bug. Because hopefully he's... Oh. What happened to that guy? That was so weird. A, uh, was that a blast? Not a blaster. A taker that just decided to die there. This weapon is incredibly strong. Like I, like I said, I could have just put a tax speed build on it and made it for Paleo Luna, but I didn't want to do that. It's boring doing that. You can do it with every single different melee weapon. Just put on a tax speed build on it. No crits. Three, cri three non crits in a row. There's a crit. You can effectively one hit things because of that free affliction you get from a deadly blade crash. There's the little boogie bomb. Yeah, it is like a boogie bomb. I think it's the exact same dance as well. I could just really keep spamming this as long as there's hordes around me. Tell you what, this is a... This might be my new go-to melee weapon. And I'll probably have this girl in my um, hero build as well. Maybe I'll have the new Outlander. I'm not a thousand percent sure how she works just yet. But I am uh, aware that she has a... Um, an ability that has rocking rift where you farm metal. I think it's going to be something like going coconuts where you can you can pick the items up and then eat them and then choose when you want rocking rift, which I think will be very very useful. Look at this. The only annoying thing is all the missions I wanted to test out all had something which kind of hindered a melee weapon build. They'd have you know acid pools, slowing pools, quickened enemies, um, frenzy death burst, um, exploding death bombs. You name it, it had anything that hindered melee weapons, but so far, so good. Out of curiosity, now, I probably should leave this for actual hero video rather than a melee weapon video, but I want to see if Rocking Rift works if you just use a turret. Oh, why is it attacked the... Right, there's one, two, three... It does! Okay, that is actually really cool. That is really cool. See, again, you could just have this on as you're attacking enemies. You've got Rocking Riff on as well. Oh, I think there's these heroes are going to be just really, really good. Really think that. I didn't really check properly, but I want to see what how much damage the heavy attack actually does. Okay, it doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. It's more or less just something to make the boogie bomb effect work. Although, it, it seemed to... Uh, instantly eliminate them then okay maybe it does do quite a lot of damage I kind of wish um, we were able to make the smashers dance so that'd be really funny like the biggest oh I was gonna say biggest enemy of the game and that just made me think Storm King if you can make the Storm King do a dance that'd be so funny any husks nearby I can't even see where I'm going doesn't look like it though so I'm just starting C but now hopefully it's nature enemies and not water if it's water well I'm not gonna put this in the video if it's water Oh, it's nature. That's really good. Got a rocking riff already. Tell you what, what are these husks doing? Oh, I've just heard the sound. Just, I'm gonna try. Oh, I can't really be quiet, but try. Just try and listen to the swing. It's like you know, I'm just. I'm really bad with instruments. I know I'm getting terminology wrong, but just like he's, I don't know, strumming the the guitar like vroom 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 or something like that. That was really bad. <laughs> that was really bad. I am really liking this weapon. Okay, I've just got hitched off. But I'm really liking this weapon. And this update. I quite like how all the heroes... Well, they kind of do the same thing, all the heroes, with their abilities. But all do the same thing in different ways. And the heroes all have a unique sixth perk, which I like with his weapon sets. I never used to like it when they'd all just be, ooh, Affliction or... Slow and snares targets. At least there's something unique to it now. Did we do that? I think we did because Seabot's still there. Right, let's go get those modules. So I've just noticed a uh, rocking riff seems to be a bit bugged. It seems to be every two eliminations, not um, four. Look at that. I think we got three there, but still, it seems to be every two eliminations, not four, because I just um, eliminated a few husks off camera. Oh no, the defense has started, but yeah, I eliminated a few husks off camera and it. It procced and I thought, oh, maybe it's just every four eliminations without the timer. But no, it seems to be just every two eliminations in nine seconds. Maybe there's not even a time limit. Let me just show you what I mean. Let's see if we can get him. Right, there's one elim. 
Let's just try and get a second. There's two. It's every two eliminations. It's really strange, but <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. Really not. I, I like it when uh, perks bug out, but they benefit you. They really do. Just eliminate. Come on. Or maybe I've read it wrong. Maybe I've just read it wrong. I can't even hit this dude. Maybe I've read the perk wrong, but I'm so sure it's four eliminations in nine seconds, not two eliminations in nine seconds. I'm missing the, to these hits too much. What? Oh, let's see. Like the propane tank. Let's see if it sets off the propane tank. Oh, it does. That's a shame. That's a big shame. I was kind of hoping it didn't then, because maybe we could... Actually, I was, I was going to say maybe we can stand on tunnels and hit him through tunnels, but I kind of want to see if you can actually, with this weapon, hit a husk that's in a tunnel. So I'm just going to try this. Let's wake this guy up. Oh, come on. What's his health? Okay. About, he's lost about 40% health. I'm going to try and get him in here, box him in. Actually, no. We'll do it to the little guy. Yeah, let's just do it to the pair of them. Let's box them in. Let's try and, you know, hurt them through a tunnel. Maybe it works through a window instead. Okay, no. If it doesn't work through a door, then it's not going to work through a tunnel. Okay. Well, there's that myth busted. So I'm getting absolutely zero luck finding these modules, so might as well do Seabot again. A bit more Seabot gameplay. Don't be water enemies though. Nature again, that's very nice. Yeah, this weapon is absolutely tearing through them. Really is. And this rocking rift, I think I'm going to put this on my Paleo Luna build because I love the attack speed already with my, what do you call it? Spectral Blade with it. That is like the best weapon for it. But Applying the rocking riff, and then we can get someone to actually war cry as well with that. So we could have an incredibly fast attack speed with the Paleo Luna build. That could be a video. What could be the fastest attack speed then? Yeah, I'm really, really loving this weapon so far. Absolutely loving it. And I've obviously I've built it for all heroes, not a Paleo Luna melee weapon. Like I have like my last three melee weapons. Because I just put attack speed, attack speed, attack speed on them now. Because she's too good. But again, you don't have to have every weapon with Peleo Luna. I'm really liking it. I need to get a bit more... Um, I need to show off the unique sixth perk a little bit more than I have. Right, it is time to defend. I'm not too sure where they're attacking from just yet. Oh, fire enemies. So we're not going to get perfect you know, gameplay of this. Because nature would obviously be best. Nature and physical, but... Hmm, off crit it doesn't seem to do a massive amount, but oh, I'm really liking it. I've got to look at that on crit. It is fantastic. And I believe the... Oh no, that's just for axes. I was going to say, I believe the new Mythic Constructor as well, part of the quest line. He's got a new team perk which increases crit rating with axes by, I think, 113. Which, be, which is pretty crazy, it really is. We've got a war cry on this as well. Right, we need. I really want to find another smasher after this. Try the war cry with rocking riff at the same time. I think that'll be absolutely crazy. Really do. Ooh, exploded there. I'm not too annoyed about losing health. I usually. I won't say annoyed. I I keep it in the back of my mind when I'm playing as Paleo Luna, but with this, she's only in support, so most of my damage is coming from the weapon itself rather than my health. Oh, well, the additional damage is always useful. Look at us. You can kind of have Rocking Riff up as well. And we get that buff as well. You can effectively get three buffs on, you know? I wonder what the buff is like. Let me just see if it actually works. Right, we're on 44,000 damage. Let's just do this. 40,000? What? I don't know. I'm not too sure how this buff works. I swear it says if you do the heavy attack, you get some sort of buff. Oh, slowing pools really hinder this so much. I'm going to have to keep switching to the Baron. There's a little boogie bomb. I'm really liking this weapon, though. So far, so good. I'm glad I didn't bother with the pure attack speed like I do with Paleo Luna in the last few melees I've done. It just feels like a waste because you can only effectively use them on Paleo Luna. Nothing else, but... Look at that, 230,000 um, crit damage, we've got the 290,000, 200,000 there. Again, I'm just going to keep a turret up because not only does it give me health back, but every, I don't know, two, four eliminations, I don't know if it's bugged or not, but 
is keeping that rocking riff up, so we're constantly having that fast attack speed. I think this is probably one of my favourite sets in a very long time. The Cyber Set, yes, it had, you know, Cyber Clop, not Cyber Set, what's it called? The Whatever the last one was with Cyber Clops in, that was a, okay. The weapons were pretty decent, but the heroes, uh, extraterrestrial real, Rio, meh, no way. That was probably the worst hero ever in the game. But Cyberclops was very nice. Azalea Clark, very nice to help out Cyberclops with his Teddy damage. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm really liking this weapon. I'm excited to try the other ones out now. If they're anywhere near as good as this, I'll be very impressed with this set. Because already I'm liking the heroes. I don't. All the heroes basically have the same thing, but just in a slightly different way. But still, it's amazing. This is probably the best one for it, though, to get a uh, rocking riff. Extra melee damage. It's a very melee themed. Well, that all the heroes are based around melee damage, roughly. Because they increase that melee attack speed. They all do increase damage as well. But it's just attack speed, which you get that extra bit of thing. Like if it was fire rate or attack speed, then fair enough. I'm really liking this. I really am. We're just absolutely destroying enemies so quickly. Look at this. Plow through them. Never mind, he's going to get me. No, oh, there we go. I wonder if we can go through Riot Huskies with our heavy. No, you can't. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't use my heavy attack as much as I was hoping to, so maybe I'm going to take that uh, melee eliminations grant energy back. I'm going to take that off and put something else on. So I've gone into a second mission here, but I have changed the energy when getting eliminations. I've just put present arms on or present arms, I don't know how you say that, just in, you know, it's something else to give us a tiny bit of extra damage, hopefully we get some presents, but I don't think I'll have too much gameplay of this second uh, mission. Right, so, we've got a nature smasher in there, we want to get the maximum buff with our weapon via that heavy attack, then also get rocking rift, so we're just going to get rocking rift, or oh, I don't know how you say it, right, okay, I think we're good. I want to do this proper smasher test. Here we go. You're going to get Walker right? There's the Walker. It's the smasher test. That is absolutely crazy. That is crazy. I am shocked. That is mad. Wow. There's a second smasher as well. Oh, we're not going to do as well with this. Then we've lost our temporary damage bo um, boost. I'm not too sure how this secondary attack works, but... If def I definitely felt the additional damage. Maybe it was just because of the war cry, but I tell you what, this is crazy. So finally, I just want to test the actual damage buff the heavy attack gives. So we've got what? Let's just look at the DPS. 124,000 DPS we have in our typewriter here. If we do this heavy attack just a couple times. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works. But look at us, we are like glowing, there's a bit of music around us. I'll wait till it goes actually, I want to see how long this temporary buff lasts for. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it lasts roughly around ten seconds, so that temporary damage buff, that is more than enough time to get a big bit of damage off. So that was the ear splitter. Now, thank you to... Alex, Duncan and George, you helped me actually get the footage and play the games with me. So thank you to those guys. But this weapon was absolutely crazy. I really liked it. Now, you're combining the already mass amount of damage with the double crit damage we've got on there with the attack speed. You're combining that overall damage with the rocking rift or riff. I don't know how you say it, but it is madness. And then you get the um, heavy attack buff as well, which stacks four times. Then you're getting a war cry as well. Just how quickly we got through that second, that last smasher near the end. That was just madness. It really was for a melee weapon as well. This is absolutely crazy. I am loving this weapon so much. I think it is fantastic. These, All these new heroes, these seem really good. This new weapon seems good. These, all these sets seem good. Or new weapons, I should say, seem really good. But yeah, this is really good. So I'm going to leave this here. Do let me know which weapon or hero you want me to cover next. And as always, thank you for watching.